Hi pals, coming up on this week's episode of Go With The Heat, we've made it to the last episode of Miami Vice. Over the last three years, we've reviewed all 108 previous episodes, and it's finally brought us to this. With the series finale Freefall, it also means that this is the last episode of This Week in Vice. In this, the ending episode, this week we'll be looking back to the last days of the 80s, from November 19th to December 31st, 1989, when Miami Vice was king. In news, on December 3rd, Soviet General Secretary Mikhail Gorbachev and U.S. President George Bush declared the Cold War over. The two met just a few weeks after the fall of the Berlin Wall at the Malta Summit, and the two countries' relationship warmed leading into the Gulf War. In TV, on December 17th, a little animated show called The Simpsons aired on Fox, and I'm sure no one's heard of it since. The Simpsons continues its run on TV after nearly 700 episodes and is, in my opinion, the greatest show in the history of television. Regardless of your stance on the current seasons, the show's 30 years has shaped an entire generation with many millions having lived their entire lives with The Simpsons on air. The Simpsons have embiggened the world with its cromulent storytelling, humor, and now a whole new generation has embraced the show in memes without any knowledge of their beginnings. You kids do need a babysitter! Bless that infernal card! In music, you can tell the 80s are coming to an end just by looking at the music that's graced the top of the Hot 100 in the last months of 1989. But in our last This Week in Vice, we'll have the best of the best of the 80s. There are three songs that reach number one in this time stretch. First, let's get the other two out of the way to get to the all-time classic. First up is Lame It On The Rain by Millie Vanilli, which we have talked about a lot over the last few weeks. Up next is We Didn't Start The Fire by Billy Joel. From the album Stormfront, this was one of three number ones on the album. But there is no way we end the 80s and This Week in Vice without talking about Phil Collins one more time. From the multi-platinum album, but seriously, is Another Day in Paradise. The song would win a Grammy for Record of the Year and is one of Collins' biggest hits. The album featured several classics, including I Wish It Would Rain Down and others. Another Day in Paradise would be Collins' last Hot 100 number one, and I can't think of a better way to end This Week in Vice than with one of my favorite songs from the 80s from one of the decade's most prolific artists. Think twice, it's just another day for you. You're me in, in movies, for the last time we'll talk about the movies, we have four films winning the box office to end 1989, with, of course, some of the decade's best. First up is Harlem Night, starring Eddie Murphy and Richard Pryor. The period piece is also written and directed by Murphy, and judged too harshly by critics, in my opinion. Next is The War of the Roses, starring Michael Douglas, Kathleen Turner, and Danny DeVito. Directed by DeVito, it's the epitome of the 90s materialism taking front and center. The last two are classics. Directed by Robert Zemeckis and starring Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, and Leah Thompson is Back to the Future Part 2. Flying cars, hoverboards, and self-lacing shoes are all components of the film, and many modern tech companies' announcements. Finally, our last movie and the last number one movie of the 1980s. Starring Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, and the rest of the Griswolds is a timeless holiday movie, National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. The movie is synonymous with Christmas and a tradition for millions of households every year. And that's everything you need to know that was happening when Miami Vice was king. Be sure to join us on Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com for our look at the final episode of Miami Vice. I'd like to thank each and every one of you that's been with me on this journey. I'm happy I've been able to relive so many amazing memories from the greatest decade of the 20th century. I've had a lot of fun covering these 108 episodes, and I'm sad to say goodbye. I'd love to hear from you. Email the show, GoWithTheHeat at gmail.com, or follow us on Twitter at GoWithTheHeat. That's all for the 80s and for me, officially signing off this week in Vice. Bye, pals.